Over a decade ago now, Peter Dupre's life changed forever. The talented triathlete was involved in a freak accident that left him with a spinal cord injury in the intensive care unit for 40 days, 32 of them spent on a ventilator. Today, despite being paralyzed from the chest down, he is not letting his disability stand in his way, rewriting the record books and aiming to tick yet another achievement off his bucket list. I still believe that the world out there doesn't realize what I really did that day. Um, you know, there was one article of a guy who's compared it to breaking the four minute mile. Um, so for me, and I believe that's what it is, it, it's insanely how um, with a broken arm six weeks before I did it. And, um, you know, also it's something that someone else can go do it faster, but I'm the first guy who did it. And that can never ever be taken away from me. The extremely motivated Dupria boasts double gold medals in the time trial and road race in the H1 class at the Paracycling World Championships and now has set his sights on qualifying for the Paralympics in Rio and admits it's not going to be easy securing a place at the event but maintains it will be a dream come true to be there. It's definitely on the bucket list to win a medal at the Paralympics and if any, obviously the colour you want is gold. So, um, you know, I don't have a lot of time left I, with my eyes, you know, I don't know how long I can still do this. So, you know, it, it, for me it's, it's really important and it would mean the world again because it's one of those things on my bucket list and goals and dreams that I, I want to tick off. Dupria manages to successfully balance a full-time job as an actuarial analyst with his sporting career and is determined to become the first quadriplegic to swim the English Channel. And although it isn't an immediate goal, it is definitely something he wants to do before anyone else can claim the feat. I will swim with a wetsuit, um, but no quad has ever done it with a wetsuit either, so it's, it's too dangerous to swim without. You know, that's just one of those things that I think people think is impossible. I want to show them it's not. The Laureus Sports Award nominee truly is a remarkable individual. He's nicknamed Super Pete for his outstanding and incredible achievements. He set his sights now on the Paralympics and there appears to be no stopping the quadriplegic who is South Africa's first ever to complete an Ironman. He truly is a superhuman. CS Duplessis, CCTV, Johannesburg.